piece has a way of being warm and expressive and calming, but also exhilarating and full of energy and almost wild and out of control. It really shows off both the quartet and the orchestra. For me as a composer, it's a very important privilege to work with the Jack Quartet of Ryan Bancroft and of course also the Symphony Orchestra. I have it when I should write a work, so I will take it and learn what I should write to know. Because it means a lot for me that there is some kind of confidence. I think having relationships with the composers immediately changes the way we understand the music. When you're working with friends, you just know how to access their music a little bit quicker. To be able to pick the brains of a composer, to be able to influence his way, that's, in a way, that's, that's also incredibly important and interesting to me as well, too. So for me, to be able to be working with living artists, with living music, essentially making history, I, yeah, I, I'm obsessed with it. I min Concerto Grosso arbejder jeg, som jeg ofte gør, med meget begrænset materiale. Fordi jamen, jeg oplever faktisk, at det er jo svært at komponere. Du har alle farver på paletten, så at sige. Og det, det kan jeg ikke overskue, simpelthen. Jeg har brug for nogle benspænd, som hjælper mig med at træffe nogle valg. Ikke? Jeg oplever, at når jeg begrænser mit materiale, så åbner det sig på en anden måde. Fordi pludselig har du for eksempel kun fire toner, du må bruge. Så, så har du kun de fire toner, så må du simpelthen finde ud af, okay, hvordan kan jeg komme tættere på de her fire toner. Forhåbentlig åbner der sig ligesom et, et mikrokosmos op i det her mikrokosmos. To me, the Concerto Grosso is really in two big parts, even though there's multiple movements. And the, the first half of it is very minimal harmonically and stylistically, but then it, start, it really starts to build up and get more active, and it's very virtuosic, but with just a, a limited pitch collection. And then finally, about halfway through the piece, it opens up to include this wide har harmonic range, and it becomes almost traditionally expressive with the harmonies. Alan's Concerto Grosso is surprisingly moving, I would say. Uh, the piece, as energetic as the piece is, and as layered as the piece is, there is this incredible stillness that goes throughout the entire piece as well. There's something really special about being able to think of fast tempos in a slow way, being able to think about energetic music in a very chill way. I approach a lot of different types of musics, but whenever I'm working with Alan, with Alan's music, I always find it inspiring on how to think of something a lot more relaxed and in the ground rather than flitting about. Publikum kommer forhåbentlig til at opleve øh, noget, de regner med, men noget, de ikke regner med. Og så er, er det jo mit håb, at jeg kan tage med lidt et, et sted hen, som de ikke regner med at komme hen. Men at, at via første sats og også anden satsen, der har jeg vist publikum en tillid, så de tør ligesom gå med mig. 
i, uh, i tredje sats og især i fjerde sats, som er nok af den, der, hvor det stikker lidt af. Det ender jo faktisk med, at orkester slet ikke spiller på deres instrumenter.